Hello to you. Many different varieties of rain gear on show here at the London Stadium in keeping with the weather. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United versus Arsenal. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. You know, it's always a tantalising prospect watching Martin Odegaard close up. Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. And the match begins. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And leading the line today, Alexandre Lacazette. Well, the flag has gone up. It was really close. Tavares. Martin Odegaard. Space and time for the cross. Teammate and support. It's a perfect challenge. And that was a very fine read. Granite Jacker. Well, they've given him too much space. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. How about the cross? Martin Odegaard able to get a body in the way. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Cedric. Very quick thinking there. Cedric. Oh, moving it nicely. That's well blocked. Well taken away, he won the ball. Well, that piece of play, very easy on the eye. Can he do it to take the lead? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. High-quality defending. Martinelli. Read it superbly to take back possession. Granit Xhaka, it's with Erdogan, and Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Marcinelli. Declan Rice. Pablo Fornals. Lanzini. And it's Mark Noble. Lanzini. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Going short. Happy to take on the shot. And a body in the way. Free kick awarded then by the referee. Can he make it 1 0? And he finds the net. No difficulties encountered.
Arsenal restart the game then, and they have work to do as they try to wipe out that last goal. Saka. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession, but they aren't doing enough with it. They need to pass it quicker, play forward earlier, and show more energy. Otherwise, they won't get back into this one. Lacazette. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So the ball is rolling again. Arsenal trailing going into the second half. Will they come up with the right response? Saka. Lokonga. It's with Gabriel. Granit Xhaka. Might be able to set up the chance. But in fact, he's taken up an offside position. Oh, that's frustrating. He just took too long to see the pass. And there to intervene. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on that first half. Scoring that late goal, but I thought his overall contribution was really good. And he got better as the half wore on. Noble, Lanzini, beautifully weighted ball, oh that's a fine ball, oh my goodness, he's caught that so well, a goal of the highest class, fantastic technique. Well here's the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it and he does well to read the fly to the ball to be fair almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper and that seemed to catch him off guard a really good control finish so 2-0 now take some progress with the ball at his feet well, possibilities in the centre. And the last touch off the defender, so a corner coming up. Trying to pick out a teammate. It might still be problematic. Reading it well. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. Now the action underway again, and that goal for Arsenal certainly puts a different complexion on the game. Noble, Kufal on the ball, and it's Mark Noble, chance to play it in, well, based on that challenge you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket, well deemed to have been a cautionable offence, well no question about it, he deserved his book in there, oh he's missed but by a minuscule margin, well he couldn't have made better contact than that, his technique is brilliant, he's so unlucky there, El Nenny. Saka. Wonderfully weighted pass. Just unable to take advantage of that developing situation. Well, it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, the danger is still there. And I think the threat has been averted. And into the last 15 minutes of action. 
Lovely work to get past his man. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. In search of the equaliser. And time for the change now. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, the timing was nearly perfect with that header. Vladimir Kuval. Said Benrama. And it's Mark Noble. Good tackle, take it away. Arsenal have it back. Lacazette. Oh, he's through here. Oh, what a fantastic save. Well, that's a match-winning save there. Not long left now. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. The attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. El Nene. What a shocking pass, really. Vladimir Kuval. Now Fabianski. Kuval on the ball. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. And crossed in there. And he did what he had to do defensively. No ball. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And that is going to be all for this game. And it's going to be recorded as a win for West Ham. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, it was a really tight game. But they were the better side over the 90 minutes. And they fully deserved their victory today. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the...